This right here is one of my all time favorite schooling bass baits, but it's a great bait also for smallmouth and anytime you have aggressive bass that are hitting shad really close to the surface, you know, just right underneath or you're fishing shallow water, just an absolutely great lure. This is the Rapala x wrap This is one of their smaller sizes right here. Comes in a variety of, of different sizes, but um, when I'm fishing around small bait fish, I like to throw this size right here. It's got uh, a feather treble on it, so you got a little extra appeal there, but it's got just a short little bill in the front, and the weight system in there really gets this bait to slash. It is a slash bait. It goes side, 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 very erratic. Smallmouth absolutely love it. They hammer this thing, but largemouth do too. I've caught a lot of bass in Texas around floating structures, around bridge pilings, anywhere that there's bass close to the surface or coming up and schooling, they absolutely hammer this thing. They can't handle that erratic action and they absolutely love when you pause this thing. It just sits still. That's very important when you're fishing a jerk bait. Get that suspending action, fish come over and, and grab it. Now when you're fishing this bait, you want to throw it on uh, a medium action rod. Uh, medium light's a little too light, I found. Um, it's not enough to give it that real slash action that this x wrap is known for. So medium action rod, 6'6", six, six, uh, is a good length. I like to throw it on 10 to 12 pound fluorocarbon usually. Uh, you could use braid with a fluorocarbon leader as well. And spinning tackle is really good if you're trying to make long casts with light line. But I'll throw it on a, a, a 6 6 bait caster as well with a little uh, 6 2 to 1 gear ratio reel. So great little bait right here the Rapala X Rap. It's a fish catcher.